Guys, bringing it back to college basketball here for a couple seconds, I want y'all to say goodbye to your busted brackets because Bye -bye. FanDuel lets you bet Bye. on every game of the tournament. Whether you're betting on a big upset or a one seed, it's time to go dancing on America's number one sportsbook. Right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets with your first $5 bet wins. That's 200 bucks in points, spreads, money lines, and you can even pick who's going to win it all. You guys just have to visit FanDuel.com UCSS to bet on college hoops until they cut down the nets. All right, there you go. So last yesterday, it got announced uh, that Jerry Judy had signed a contract extension, a three-year extension worth up to $58 million, including $41 million fully guaranteed at signing. Now, what we don't know is, because agents like to make these things look as good as possible, and usually guys like Rappaport get this information from the agents and not from the team. I mean, he even tweeted, deal was negotiated by the agency right, right, and right. the agency. So I don't know the why they put that there, because no fan cares about this. Is there it, any fan that cares no, about it, it's who good, was negotiated by? No, but it's for good by? faith, so they're going to keep getting I guess so. But um, anyway, so the 40, was it 41 or 42 million? 41 guaranteed. guaranteed. So 41 guaranteed. Now, there's a big difference if, that gar if they're including this 50-year option, which is ridiculous to include it, but if that's what is included, because then it, if, if the fifth year option is what, 12 million? 13. 13. So now it takes it down to 28, which is in line with some of the other free agents. I'll start with you guys because I have. I, I didn't think this made much sense for the Browns because, and, and again, it to me, if it includes the fifth year option, I think it's. I, I still don't like it, but not as, you know, I'm yeah. not as negative about it. If that guaranteed money does not include the fifth year option, I think it's absurd. But. You guys yes. go. Go so ahead. I, I guess with the caveat of yeah. if it doesn't include the fifth-year option, then I'll change my entire thought process on this. But knowing how Andrew Berry navigates and knowing what at least the projections from guys I trust on the cap like Jake Burns and Brad Spielberg of PFF have said, it does include the fifth-year option. So when you first saw these initials, Well, they don't numbers, know that. They're, they're, that, that. That's what I'm saying. So I'm they're gonna go guessing, off. and it yes. might be a smart – it's probably a smart And, and they're pretty good on that stuff. So I'm going to yeah. – the opinion I'm giving you today – is yeah. based on what I'm hoping is true, which is it does include the fifth-year option. And if yeah. we find out it doesn't... Which is totally misleading. If it doesn't, yeah. I'll come back and I'll change my thought. But yeah. for this, I do believe it does include the fifth-year option. I was in the gym yesterday when this happened. I see the number. Four years, 58, 41, Garrett. I'm like... Three so, years. Well, it's four after this one, so through the 2027 season. Yeah. I'm like, that's a lot of money. At the end of that, it's a lot of money for a guy who's yet to have a 1,000-yard season. He's yeah. come close. But then when you take out the fifth-year option... It comes down to a three-year, $45 million extension after this year with $28 million guaranteed. Right. And this is what the free agent contracts See, but look I, like this I, summer. See, I hate this, Mike, Hold on, and I don't like you did this. No, no, let me just It's let me not just an apples-to-apples apples Yeah, but comparison. it is to an extent. No, it's not because it is. those guys were free agents. He wasn't. So it doesn't matter. He got a contract extension based on what he would get in free agency next summer. They're no, paying. because Andrew Barry's paying those now. players had options of where they could play. He did not. Andrew Barry's paying difference. him now. Yeah to get ahead of the potential of next season after 2024, Jerry Judy with Deshaun Watson or whoever's at quarterback for the Browns has 1,000 yards, eight touchdowns, coming into a weak free agent class for yeah. 2024, he could be getting Calvin Ridley-esque money. He'll be 25, a former first-round pick, coming off his best season, the price tag for a player. Well, Calvin Ridley is not coming off his best season. But I'm saying Jerry Judy would be. Okay. He'd be getting a deal closer yeah. to Calvin Ridley than he would be to where he's viewed now, which is Gabe Davis and Darnell Mooney money. So when you take that fifth-year option out of it, yeah. he's essentially getting paid $45 million over three years, $15 million average, uh, annual average value, $28 million guaranteed, which is right in line with the Moonies, the it's Davises. It's more than those guys. It's $2 million more but. over three years. It's $6 million in total. Like it's essentially within that same range. And if you and we asked the question on, on the Monday after he signed. And the Debo Where Samuel would you one, why is that in there? It's Curtis Samuel. Oh, Curtis Samuel. Curtis Samuel. <laughs> <laughs> that makes uh, more sense. Yeah, Curtis Samuel, and that was the next biggest free yeah. agent wide receiver contract. Yeah. Three years, $15 million in Buffalo. He replaced Gabe Davis. Yeah. We asked, rank the four receivers, Judy, Hollywood Brown, Gabe Davis, and Calvin Ridley. We all said he was right in that same tier as Davis yes. and them. So you're paying slightly more for a guy with probably a little more potential. I see why the Browns did this. I don't necessarily agree that he has any more potential. I mean... Come on, a first-round pick as opposed to a fifth-round pick. Well, that doesn't... I mean, does, does, so does he have more potential than Ahmad Ross St. Brown then? No. Okay, but well, Ahmad Ross St. Brown But he's proven a, a lot more than Gabe pick. Davis has. No, Jordan that's Moody fair, has. but Gabe Davis has got 15 more touchdowns than he has, right? And fewer catches than yards, though. Well, that's I'm just fine, saying, like, like, you can nitpick what stats you want to... 
The point is of. that those guys are free agents, and free agents are always going to get more money than a guy under contract. And so I don't like that comparison. And But he, Barry's bidding against himself here. Right. There was no reason to do that. But if you wait and he balls out, then you're going to be paying $20, well, 25 million would, next season. Would you have? Yes. How, yeah. how many yards would he have to put up for them to pay $25 million next 1100. year? 1100 Yeah, I don't think it's a crazy number. You think number. if he got 1100 he's getting $25 million next yes. year? Calvin Ridley just did. And Calvin he's older. Calvin Ridley got what? What was Calvin Ridley's contract? 50 million, 92 guaranteed over Crazy. four years. And he, over, it's not three years. Four years. Yeah. 90, 20, that's not 25 million. 92, what, 20, 20, 20, 20, 22 million. and a half? 90, 20, four years, 92 million is crazy. And he's, old, he's older coming off a season older. where he had 1,067 yards. Okay. Jerry Judy gets anywhere close to those numbers, which I think is very realistic. Assuming Deshaun Watson's Deshaun Watson, he's younger than Ridley. Right. Less injury prone, doesn't have the gambling suspended for a whole year situation. Okay, really so has. You're, I don't think it's crazy to say if he had a great season in advance to save essentially six, seven million a year. That's clearly what Andrew Barry did. Yeah. Okay. Which now, is what they did with David and Joku, at, at, and it worked out. Did, but it's also how about with Jack? Jack well, I was going to say there's also the flip side of yeah. the Jack Conklin situation. We can't just but, bring up the time it worked out. We got to. Well, I was, time I was getting to both. get yours, yours in there. Well, I, I was going to go there. Yeah. There, listen, David and Joku signed a four-year deal, fifty-four point seven five million contract with the Browns, twenty-eight million in guarantees, and seventeen million fully guaranteed. I went back and rewound the show. We were people. We all was, hated it. They was up in arms. All hated yeah. it. And I said, well, listen, they paying them for his skill set and what they think right. he can do with possibly Deshaun Watson. And the thing is, you go and look at it and you go back and you rewind time, you say, okay, it makes sense. Because the Browns are, 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 are operating in a different way. If you look at what the Browns are doing, the Browns aren't necessarily going out and, and, and hitting home runs at the draft. They're get, they hit their home runs on trades. Yeah. Their best players they, put, they, they do a good job of saying, let me take a look at this player that's playing for this team. Let me evaluate him. Let me forecast what he would do in our system. They bring him in, and it seems to work. Now, wait, they, but where? G- give me the examples of that. Amari Cooper. Yeah, but Amari Cooper was way more proven than Jerry Judy. They, he wasn't a projection. They did. They did the same thing on Elijah Moore. But he didn't that, do anything here. That didn't work out. That, yeah. but, that, work but, out. but I'm just saying that. There's the, no. The, the, I don't think have the Browns ever acquired a receiver that had been underperforming, and he performed better here. I don't see that. Amari Cooper. He didn't have his best year. He's had he's been guy's been excellent his whole career. Go back and look at the uh, his, his season this past season was his best statistical career. I, I mean he's so my, wait a second. But Go he's ahead. been good. It's not like he wasn't good and Go got ahead. great. Best statistical season by what measure, Mike? I'm pretty sure it's his highest yards. Okay, let's yards let's see had. here. Let's take a look at that. So Mari Cooper he, season th- th- Steve, there's a graphic with he his had twelve hundred and fifty yards. Right. Okay. You're right. It is his it is his most uh, per year, but not significantly. He had an 1189 season with Dallas. He had 1153 season with Oakland. He had an eight touchdown season with Dallas. What was his last yardage with Dallas? He had a bad year with Dallas the yeah. last year, 865 and eight. But the two years before that, he had 1189 and eight touchdowns and 1114 and five touchdowns. But, Basically but, the same he's done but, a year. Because he was making a boatload of money, though. Right, he was making bread. And Jerry said, Judy and Amari Cooper are not an, a comparison. I, 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 what, listen, he was a proven wide receiver. I, I, I'm not going to say that he's he not, had had five thousand yard seasons before coming. What I'm saying is it's not apples. To it's apples not apples there. to apple when yeah. you talk about their specific career, but it's it's the framework of what their idea is. Nobody would have gave David and Joku that money. Now nobody talks about it because it worked. I think when you watch and I gave the example earlier, and we were laughing and joking. Yeah, the Browns are not good at evaluating and picking wide receivers in the draft, right? I said, that's the equivalent of you in high school. You're in high school. You don't have no abs. You don't play anything. You're not, you don't got a basketball, football jersey. Heck, you ain't even in the band or the glee club. And And the cheerleader, the worst looking cheerleader, invites you and asks you to the dance. That's what you're going to say. Heck, yeah, I'm going to the dance. No questions asked. You don't care about her personality. You're just doing it. The Browns are like, hey, look. Schwartz, David Bell did not look good. We got it out. They've been coveted in Jerry Judy, as he said, for two years. Two full seasons. Two full seasons they won him. What was the why did you have to sign him now? Just to potentially save money if he has a breakout year? Because because we play because we play in gymnastics with this cat. Yeah. How come (laughs) nobody was saying a week ago we should pay him? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You agreed, I, I think, that they shouldn't pay him. 
they doing gymnastics with this cap. They restructured everything, moving stuff around. Yeah. They're like, listen, if I could get him now for this price, rather than him play well this year, and then I got to pay him 10, 15, 20, 30 more million dollars as yeah. a free agent, I get him on the cheap. All, all I know is, and this is a fact. It better work, though. This is a yeah. fact. That a, the only wide receiver, it, since Andrew Berry's been here, He's acquired how many wide receivers via trade, draft, and free agency? A bunch. Okay? A handful. And the only one that's been good is Amari Cooper, who was already proven. That's a fact. That's a fact. Now, you want to say he had more yards? That's true. You're right. It's a fact. He had more yards. But his last last year in Dallas, for whatever reason, was a down year. It was a weird season. But the two years before that were basically equivalent to what he's done here. here. I'm pretty sure his last year in Dallas was the Cooper Rush year, too, by the way, which probably plays plays a factor in it. That's right. So... What Amari Cooper has done for the Browns is not surprising. It wasn't a projection. Amari Cooper, for most of his career, outside of the last year in Dallas, had been a very good receiver. And he's still a very good receiver. Jerry Judy, to this point in his career, has been a disappointment. Not a bust. Not a bust. But he's a disappointment. See, see, okay, and so and there, the Browns it, are projecting he won't be. Can you be good, be, can yeah. you be good and be a disappointment? Yeah, Jerry Judy's been a number two receiver. Hey, Jerry Judy's a, a if you, decent wide receiver. If you right say, so, all right, I mean, so, so we, if you say, all right, if he's poor, below average, yeah. average, above average, good, or excellent, where would you put him? Jerry Judy? Yes. Probably, I... In between average between and above average. Between average and above average. Yeah. I wanted to cut the, the yeah. difference. <laughs> <in that. laughs> but with the potential to be higher. Right. He just hasn't yes. reached that level yet. All they need him to do is be good. Mm-hmm. That's all they need. I think one thing we're missing in this whole discussion, too, yeah. is before the extension, Cooper, Judy, and Elijah Moore were all set to be free agents after the 2024 season. That's like a that. hell of a debacle to, to have yourself in as a general manager, knowing that all three of your guys right. are free agents you. after the season. You, now, just, you better hope you got it right. I, I, now, I'm with one. you. There's certainly risk to this deal. And if, if they had waited six games in to sign the extension, I yeah. probably would have liked it even more knowing what Jerry Judy looked like in this system. Yeah. But also knowing how Andrew Berry works and how the Browns like to navigate the cap, be ahead of things, be two steps ahead and then let the cap catch up. With the inflation we saw in running backs, none of us thought uh, DeAndre Swift would get $24 million, right? Like Because the cap went up, they all got these higher, higher numbers. Right, right. But the cap probably won't jump quite as but high even so, Even if it goes yeah. a tiny bit up. To overpay by $2 million a year compared to Darnell Mooney and Gabe Davis this year, yeah. as opposed to what he could get in the free agent market, even if he doesn't have a great season. Let's say he replicates 972 yards in 15 games, not 10 right, right, games, right. and four touchdowns. That receiver is going to cost an extra four, five, six million just because the cap naturally is going up. And then you have to deal with re-signing no, Amari or making the decision Those on numbers Amari, don't go up. Or making the decision yeah. on Elijah Moore. And again, and then that's draft, predicated so they have no on one, if – if all the fifth-year extension money is included in that deal. And, and once again, that's, that's how I'm basing that, all this on. It's a if it's big not, difference if it's yes, not. Yes, <laughs> and, and I, I will hold all judgment Listen, until it is. But in the end, it's not our money. So, I, you know, I, I don't really give a crap in the long run. He just, you know, if the, the thing is, as, as much as I agree that the cap is a minor factor and not a major factor, if Jerry Judy is not good, that will hamper them in trying to spend money in other places. If they evaluate, at least to some degree. Yeah. If they evaluated him and said, "We don't think it's physical, it's mental, it's, it's personality, maybe it's 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 the you know the makeup, the yeah. DNA, right?" Think about it. You know, Jerry Judy <clears throat> in Denver. If Mark Slareth and and, and and the other uh, other words, Brandon Stokely, Brandon Stokely and, and if they saying that about you. I, I'm guessing the way I know media works. There's a bunch of lower level people saying the same thing, local guys saying the same thing about him and yeah. his play, his character, his his head space. Right. And so the crazy part about it is I look at it like this. When you get him here, he was just happy, like, yo, these guys wanted me for two years, right? It's uh, just something that's to be said about it. The, like Andrew Barry came in and said, Look, I, I we've been targeting you, we got you, we 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 gave up assets to get you. And before we even you played it down in our jersey, yeah, we gave you we ripped up that contract and gave you a brand new one. And do you know how hard people will play for you? Because they gave you a shot. I'm like, man, listen, this dude like I ain't yeah. missing work. 
Like when it's something to be said if you are. Well, a lot of people do it. Some people go the opposite way, like yeah. Anthony Rendon of the Angels. I, yeah, uh, I, but I don't. I don't. We in don't this know case, what kind of guy Jerry Judy yeah, is. We don't know. We'll but, find out. But I think it's a good calculus to say, like, look, man, when when people is like overlooking you, they don't really feel like you you fit what they're doing. Yeah. And another group of people come in and invest in you immediately. That leaves a, a, a good taste in your mouth. And then other guys like Zadarius yeah. Smith and Maurice Hurst can say, hey, look, they signed me back. They They're signed me back. Well. They, they treating us good. To your point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a shout out to my man, Dr. Jake. Uh, so I got a team of people working with me. I've lost 13.4 pounds in 15 Attaboy. days. There it is. Because uh, this is it. I'm, I'm, it's, it's save my life operation here. So I got a team of people I'm working with. And one of them is a scientist who specializes in doing research on weight loss. Mm -hmm. But the reason I met him is because he's originally from Cleveland. He's a huge Browns fan. And he and I meet via, he lives down in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, doing research there. And he and I talk every Wednesday morning, mostly about weight loss and stuff like that. However, he's also a big Browns fan, so we always spend a few minutes talking about the Browns. And he's a very analytical, like, you know, he's into all analytics and stuff. And he was excited about the Jerry Judy contract because he says, because he's always talking about research and stuff. And he said he was reading this study that when you're, as you were alluding to, when you pay people preemptively, it, give, it empowers them. It makes them feel better about themselves. It makes them feel loved. And in most cases, they will work harder and be more committed. Right, and I get that. I can see that. I know if 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 our boss has said to us, "Hey, we're giving you guys a five year deal. You're locked in for the next five years. The show's good for five years. We're paying you this money." We would all be feeling, we feel good, but we'd feel even better if we yeah. had a five year contract, right? And uh, and so I get it. Now there are a percentage of people who go the opposite way, mm -hmm. and you never. And the reason this makes me nervous is because. The Browns don't know him well enough. They work. They, you know, they just get to know him, and so sometimes that makes me nervous. If Jerry Judy is that type of guy, then yes, it will hopefully work. There is talent there. I don't think it's. I'm not saying it's the worst contract in the history of football. And if this, if if the total numbers do include the fourth year option, then I'm only slightly against it as opposed to what my <coughs> original thought. And, but. And, and the crazy part about it is, I think they did it strategically because they put them with Amari Cooper, right? Like, it's great. That's his idol. That's, that, that, that's, his, that's his guy. He's like, I came to Alabama yeah. because but I watched all his games. All I'm saying, my only, ultimately, my two biggest complaints are, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of every time you say anything of against the Browns, you're a hater. But I'm sick of that. It's pissing me off. <laughs> I, I, I haven't been bothered by stuff, but this is pissing me off. And number two, we got to stop acting as if everything that Andrew Berry does is right, no matter what. That's, that's just silly. Uh, listen, I, t I called him out for not having defensive tackles yeah. for a whole doggone year. And people was like, you're a broken record. You say the same thing, G. I'm like, listen, I'm going to keep saying the same. Yeah. And here's the thing. Don't they understand? Like, a lot of people don't because they do other things for a living. That's like if I went to somebody else's job and said, listen, I'm just so tired. I Every time I see you, you're putting the mail in the mailbox. And he was like, yeah, I'm a mailman. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. I rain, sleet, or snow. This is what we do, McNuggets. Yeah. This is this is your job. So, like when you say stirring the pot, or our job is to come up with, even if we ain't got nothing, we are supposed to make something up. It's supposed to at least it's supposed to be entertaining. Like we gonna speculate. That's part of what we do. We speculate. We do it, and we're gonna do it well. You, you can't get mad at people for saying certain different things, and you can't say every time you do disagree with something, you're a hater. Yeah, I'm just. I think I, I don't know why it was pissing me off today that, that people say that, but it is what it is. With the Judy thing too. Yeah. Take the fifth year into it, so it's forty-five over three, just for the sake of this. It's three for fifteen each, whatever, whatever the. Yeah. Uh, it's twenty-eight million guaranteed divided by three, so it's. If it's know, not included, it's three years, twenty million essentially. Yeah. But if if it is the twenty-eight yeah. million um, over three, it's like nine and a half, but whatever. Yeah. At the end of the day, when you look at the market, like. That's right in line with what he would have got paid. Now, yes, they traded for him, so you have to include a fifth it's and sixth round pick yeah. in that in that price tag. And they didn't have to. Those guys had to get paid. I, I know, not I, that but, amount. But I'm, but they I'm had just to saying, for the the level of receiver Jerry Judy is, yeah, production wise, he has more yards than Davis and Mooney in their career, all in the same draft class. He has two fewer receptions than Mooney than Mooney, excuse me, way more than Gabe Davis. Now, Davis has an incredible touchdown number 
compared to Judy and Mooney. Right, right, right. 27 to 11 and 11. But it's right in line with those two guys. And if you were asking me, take out how they were acquired, yeah. you put those three guys in a spin cycle and said, all right, pick one. Who do you think is the best receiver out of the three? I would take Jerry Judy. I would so say, if you have to overpay a tiny bit. I would bit, say if those guys were free agents, I wouldn't want to sign any of them at that money. That's what I would say. Is, that's what and, and, and that's, we talked about. But it is what left. it is. It's yeah. not my money in the end. I thought the Calvin Ridley contract was the worst contract signed by any team this offseason. Although the last time we said that was Christian Kirk, and it's turned out to be a good and he's deal been turned for out Jacksonville. Good. I thought Gabe Davis was an overpay. I thought yeah. Mooney was an overpay. So I'm, I actually think, yeah. just like you're kind of saying, in the big picture, and it's probably a little more money than they've all earned based on their play through four seasons. But if that's the going rate, that's the going rate. Right, like, but they didn't, to Earl's, to Earl's my, point about Wendy's, yeah. a cheeseburger at Wendy's should cost Again, 99 cents. Again, you keep cents. ignoring the fact that they didn't have to pay the going rate. I, I'm just drawing the comparison yeah, yeah, because yeah. they did pay him. Now right. this is what we have. Whether yeah. they should have or shouldn't have Either is a mute right. point. He's so got gonna, his money. If we find out that the, the reported thing is not including the I will, I will option, like this move you, a whole lot less. Yeah, I still like it. You know why? Because you still – I don't care. Because then you're paying way more than those guys. Yes, and Look, then it's not an apples yeah. to apples. Or, Bro, at the end of the day – Orange to apples. If, if I keep saying it. If, if I'm uh, Jimmy Haslam and I'm a billionaire and I've been getting this money forever – I don't care how much it costs. I'm out of here in eight years, six years anyway. Six to eight tops. Yeah. So, right, but wouldn't I want to spend it on a better player is what I'm saying. Well, the evaluation is he was the best player at that price. He's the best player at that price but point. But if, if we're saying, like, money's not an object, then, then, then you know, go get an even better player. I don't know that that was possible I don't know, right you, now. When you looked at it, I don't know if that was possible. You could have gotten Keenan Allen. He's hundred. He's better than Jerry Judy. He's a hundred, he's thirty three years old. Who gives you a better chance to win this yeah, year? Yeah, but if you're if you're in a one year scenario, this is make or break. Aren't the Browns in a one year scenario? This if, is an if, entire make or break season. If, if they got Keenan Allen, I'd be doing backflips for a fourth round. Yeah, pick. you're telling me you wouldn't have rather had Keenan Allen than Jerry Judy for this I, I, year? Here's, here's the thing: I would not want Keenan Allen to be on the squad and then he get hurt and then we just be like. Well, then you go get somebody else. You make a trade at the deadline. There's always somebody available. If money's not an object. I, I, but here's the thing. I, I, like, I, I like the fact, and I'm with what, what McNugget said. There's no way you could go into next year with all your all those receivers being free agents. Well, you, you could have signed them next year. I, if they wanted to come and back. And who cares? All, Elijah Moore's irrelevant. Stop putting him in the conversation. He's enough. Well, you need some. You literally I know need he's somebody. enough. What's you the need, difference if he's a free agent you or need, not? Who you cares? need somebody. Would you rather have Elijah Moore play or David Bell? Give me Elijah. I, I'd rather have yeah. I'd rather have the sweat off my balls than, than, than him. I, I mean, he's a nothing. He's a re- totally replaceable guy at this point. I I, I don't disagree. And with I, that. I, don't, I think they should get rid of Elijah Moore because I don't know if he's going to be happy that he's the third receiver. Has, he's, has oh, Tyler, he wasn't happy with the Jets. Has Tyler Boyd signed yet? By the way, no, he's still a free agent. I mean, Elijah Moore was born. All I'm saying receiver. is, for this year, there's no debate that Keenan Allen's better than Jerry Judy. How do you even debate that? You can, it's, it's, it's not it's, 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 you, it's you, no debate. You can't, you can't it's on that one. Like, bro, slightly. I'm, it's like, okay, like, Keenan Allen's, Allen's a, a good star. receiver. Keenan Allen's a good receiver. He had a better season than Amari last year. But I'm, listen, here's what I'm going to tell you. you. Last year, you were clamoring for DeAndre Hopkins. You didn't care how old he was. DeAndre Hopkins and I was is you. way younger than Keenan Allen. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Way younger? How old is DeAndre Hopkins? 31. I'm pretty sure Keenan Allen's 32. Keenan Allen is 31. Oh, he's about to turn 32. And DeAndre Hopkins, he'll be 32 next month, is uh, Keenan Allen. He missed a lot of games last year, Bull. No, he didn't. How DeAndre many ga- Hopkins will also he be missed four games next month. How many games he missed last year? He played 13 games, had 1,243 yards in 13 games, and seven touchdowns. And part of the reason he didn't play at the end is because they were done anyway, so they didn't try to bring him yeah, back. He was, he was incredible last year. Hey, listen, For he a fourth-round pick, I mean. He, he did all right. Listen. Let, Keenan Allen. And, and let's see. DeAndre Hopkins – is He's 31 too. Uh, same age. DeAndre Hopkins is older than Keenan Allen. For real? 10 months older. Dang, I'm not DeAndre so Hopkins is going to be 32 in June. Keenan Allen's going to be thir- Wait, wait a second. Sorry. Keenan Allen is six weeks older than, than DeAndre Hopkins. I was so saying he's the same older. age. G- G's right. He's As older. always, G was right. Six weeks. <laughs> G was six, right. Six weeks. I'll say this. Give me your projection. If we're going to talk about how good or bad it yeah. was, what are you – because because there's a thought in your mind yeah. what you think he's going to get. I feel like you feel like yeah. he's going to be more on the line uh, – on the, on the stance of a DPJ rather than – I think Jerry, Rather than uh, an I, old boy. Uh, yeah, what, what is Judy st- – I think wise, Jerry Judy to get has to a chance to be a good player. But let's remember, now I wasn't one of these people, but there were a lot of people thought Elijah Moore was going to have 1,000 yards last That year. was ridiculous. 
But Yo, you were I think you were one of them. No, no, no. You were leading no, the charge. No, no, we got to go no. look at that. <laughs> we got to check the tape. I said, I like Elijah Earl Moore. was one of them. He's no. admitting it. That was Tyvis. Tyvis was Tyvis one of them. Ty- oh, Tyvis was like 1,700 yards for Elijah I mean, Moore. Tyvis went to camp. Tyvis was coming back. pocket. Like, yo, I seen him running a crazy And I'll, Now, I think Jerry Judy, I'm much higher on Jerry Judy's potential than I, mean, I am on Elijah Moore. How, for it to be good? For, for, for him, it to be, for, for, him, for it to qualify as worth the money he got in your mind. Yeah. I, I, I'd say a thousand, at least a thousand yards and five touchdowns. And I, th- I think that's very attainable. Uh, that's not too much to ask. No, I think that's very attainable. I, I need to see about. That, and that's the that's you know. That's the low I, I the want the, I want like a thousand to eleven hundred yards. I want five to seven touchdowns. I, Jerry I need. I need. He to does see, that. I'm good. I need to see the receptions around seventy. Now, but it's tricky though because we, you know, what's the quarterback play? Now, now that's I saw another a, one. I saw another thing last night talking about Judy and how the targets were split up last season for the Browns between Cooper and Joku, Moore, uh, Tillman, all the way down. You know, they have mouths to feed. And I don't think any one receiver is going to get a lion's share of the targets like a Devontae Adams did in, in Las Vegas or Justin Jefferson gets in Minnesota. So maybe those numbers are going to be a little lower because it'll be more evened out across the board. But it, I don't think 1,005 is, is out of exactly. question by any the, means. The Browns, the Browns have three mouths to feed. Njoku, yes. <laughs> Judy, and Cooper. That's well, it. But they're going to run the ball, too. Well, everybody else is going to run the ball, too. What are you talking about? I thought we've been spending the past month saying they're not going to, they're not going to run the ball anymore. Hey, look. That's what you've been it, saying. That's what he's if, been saying. If, if Nick Chubb's on the saying. field, they're going to give the ball hey, to Nick Chubb, though. So, this is what I need. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. Listen, I gave you a reprieve on yeah. that 5,000. Deshaun? Yeah, let's go. You, you, you owe me at least 40, 4,200. You owe me forty two hundred. That's been a big holding. difference. You forty two hundred and five thousand. I've, I've been ho- I've been holding it down. I've been taking a I mean, lot. Baker could throw forty two hundred. I, I, li- that's what I'm saying. I've been holding it down for what you. Is bro. That, what is that per game? Forty two hundred, and I need both of your receivers to have a thousand, and I need a joker to hear, be hitting on the nine. I don't want to hear this Mike Lucas nonsense about mouths to feed. <laughs> you know how Stefanski runs his offense. Let, let, let me tell you something. Stefanski ain't running it's offense. Equal he ain't running the offense. offense. The quarterback's it's running a, the offense, okay? It's an equal opportunity system they run. Equal opportunity system. Mike thinks the Browns do things that nobody else does. They have mouths to feed. This team's with way better wide receivers than the Browns. Mike, I'm, not saying, it's, it's I'm not saying it's the number Elijah one receiver. Elijah Moore is a football. complete slappy. He's a slappy. He got, a, it's face. He got there, 107 targets last season. There is no equal Whether he's good or not, that's still 107 targets. There's no equal opportunity. They even got rid of affirmative action in this country. They did. That, so guess what? <laughs> we spoon feeding. In Florida, there we, was no such thing as slavery. No, I mean, it, 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 was, been, it was a good deal. Slavery's been canceled by Florida. It's just, I'm just saying. So let me ask you this then. I guess we can move on. Cooper got about 150 targets last season. Yeah. More or less in 2024. I got it. Anthony's re- telling me something in my ear. I got this More or less than 150 targets for Amari Cooper. What did he have last year? About 150. And they ran the ball a lot. I, I think it'll be around. Uh, I, I'll say same. I'll say the same. And Joku had 137. And I, I'm going this I'd like off to memory. know the what's the breakdown of Njoku with Flacco and Njoku. Didn't he play his best ball oh, with Flacco? He, and Joku, he got way, and more, and, way more targets later. And Joku season. with Flacco was getting... Like, I felt like he, every other play he was getting We touched. talked about, listen, Njoku had a tremendous season, but we weren't saying that early in the year because no. he had done much early in the I, season. If you give me one second, I can tell you the exact break. Yeah, I, I, I'm curious on that. It's definitely it, He definitely saw more target share and receptions later in the year as it went on. Yeah. Um, but his game-by-game breakdown in terms of targets. Yeah. Internet's moving slow as hell today. I don't know, Mike. You got to pull it together. They got the, they, it's they, not me. They cut off your producer internet. I, had to, I went off Wi-Fi. I'm going to look it up. You're Game logs. Tw- right, I got it right here. Okay. He had, so in week one against Cincinnati, three targets. Week two against Pittsburgh, four we don't targets. We know the team. Go ahead. Week three, four, four. He was out against Baltimore. He had seven. That was DTR. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Out against uh, San Francisco, only at four. Indianapolis with P.J. Walker, nine. Seattle Walker, eight. Arizona, Deshaun, six. Baltimore, Deshaun, nine. Mm. And then here's where it goes crazy. DTR against Pittsburgh, 15. Mm. Then with Flacco, nine, six, eight, 14, nine, eight, sat the last game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, with Deshaun, he didn't have a 
uh, as big an amount of targets. Uh, well, That'll be interesting. Generally, speak, outside of that one game, there, the Baltimore game, he had a lot of targets. Well, generally speaking, right? nine, nine I think. targets. Yeah. You, you going like if yeah. you if you playing against you know Sean Watson want to go downfield, and so usually they going all right. I, I could check it down if I'm playing a good defense. You know, what I'm saying they're not going to give me time to go downfield. But other than that, I'm going up top. So that's another thing why I like the Jerry Judy move is because he's not a burner. But when you watch his little highlights, he 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 he's a yak guy. He's a guy that can move after the catch. The guy can go up and, and do some some things. Um, you know, he's bigger body, bigger target. He, he's been a good uh, big play player. Yeah. Right. right. He's, his biggest problem with Denver consistency. was the drops. And drops. Yeah. Well, he was bad with the drops. One of the worst in the league, and that's got to be cleaned up. That's one of the yeah. And his consistency in general. I saw a stat last thing. Yeah. Him and Cooper are now the only tandem in football that have double-digit 40-plus yard plays over the last season and a half. 